You may find while you're editing that for one reason or another, you need to reduce the amount of media on your hard drive associated with your project. Or you might find that you need to transfer your project from one edit system to another. There's a tool built into EDIUS to enable you to do this, and it's under the file menu. You choose Consolidate Project. And the Consolidate Project window gives you a bunch of options, which kind of makes sense if you go through them. First of all, are you going to reduce the size of the project in its current location? I probably would not do this because it means it'll delete media before you've had a chance to check if it worked okay, worked the way that you wanted it to. So instead, I'd probably save the project to a folder and maybe I'll just put this on the desktop. And what will happen now is whatever I do to clean up my project, it's just going to make copies of things and I can go back to the original and check and confirm. And then we've got these preset settings. So first of all, a cleanup, it tells you what it's going to do. It's going to clean up the hard drive. Files that aren't used are deleted automatically and they're completely erased from your hard drive. Then I can do a backup. The nice thing about the backup is that it pulls everything together. So you might have media dotted all over your hard drive, but when you make a backup, it all gets combined together into a new folder. Notice that the trim margin exists here, just as you can have handles for your media on the timeline. In this case, the files that are backed up are just the parts of them that are used. Here we go. Files in the timeline but not in the bin will be copied to the project folder with trimming. So you need to have an overlap if you're going to add some transitions later on. Backing up without trimming does the same thing, but files already in the project folder are not copied again. It just tells you the description of what's going to happen here. You can also choose custom. And if you choose custom, you've got the option to specify whether clips that aren't used in a sequence or any sequence will be removed or not, whether you're only going to use areas that are used in the timeline. You could have a one hour source clip that you've only used five seconds of it and there's no need to have the full hour. And whether you're going to copy the files that are used to a new folder. And if you do that, are you going to delete the unused files? Now, I don't have any proxy media for this project, but I can choose whether both the original high res media or the proxy as well are going to be used. And then I get an output log as well, which is probably a good idea because it lets me know if there were any problems creating the files or any corrupt media and so on. If I click OK, I'm going to get a folder that contains the results of the decisions I've made. So essentially, you would use this again if you need to transfer your project to another machine and you want to be absolutely certain that you have the media associated with it. Or if you just run out of storage space and you know you need to get some more media onto your storage drives, this is a way to get rid of the things that you don't need in your current edit.